Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're gonna explore different locations of fried chicken all around LA. Just like the other tours that we did, donuts and ice cream, it's time for fried chicken. And we're starting off today here in Inglewood. You see SoFi Stadium here. And we're heading to Doolin's. Let's go check it out. We went to Dolan's. Yep, out in Inglewood, the city of champions and the future home with the LA Clippers. And we were going to go last week, but last week was the Super Bowl and it's right down the street from SoFi Stadium, yes. which is right here yeah. at this park that we're at, Darby Park. And we're going to enjoy our food now. Yep. And this is the first stop on our fried chicken tour. We got the two piece meal. It comes with two pieces of fried chicken and two sides. So we got rice and gravy and mashed potato and gravy and two pieces of fried chicken. It comes with also two pieces of these little cute cornbread. Yeah, so let's taste it. Look at this huge piece. It smells amazing, seriously. Mm. This is our first time having Dolan's because it is a little far from us, but it's very popular in LA. Mm. Even though it's breast piece, it is very, very like tender and moist. This is so good. The chicken meat has a lot of flavor. I wish the fried chicken skin was a little bit crispier, but overall it is very flavorful. Yeah, so if you're not a fan of like super like fried tasting mm -hmm. and like really heavy, fried, fried chicken. outside yeah. chicken skin, then this one is perfect for you. Like yes. you definitely love this. Mashed potato. Mmm. I like that this mashed potato is like, not like whipped, but like more like mashed potato. <laughs> like al dente. <laughs> <laughs> and the gravy is really good too. The gravy is awesome. And I put a little yeah. bit of gravy on the, on rice. the rice. I wouldn't recommend the rice, but the mashed potato for sure mm. is really good. They also have other sides like green beans, mac and cheese and other other sides, yeah. Yeah, greens and yams and all yeah. the other yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I got their lemonade. It's homemade strawberry lemonade. It's really sweet. The cornbread. Cornbread, it's so cute. Mm. It's so light. Mm -hmm. I could eat like five of those for breakfast. Yeah, this is dangerous. <laughs> it's so good though, because like with a heavier meal like this, especially fried chicken and all the sides and stuff like that, this goes perfectly, like you don't feel like it's too much. Yeah. What do you give this chicken? I give this chicken maybe a seven and a half. I give it an eight. We do prefer the crispier side of chicken. So we'll see how it compares with the other ones. But for sure, it is definitely recommended though. Like I would love to come back and try some of the other stuff too. Because they do have oxtail, you know how much we love oxtail. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes. And it's really close to Darby Park. Have a nice little picnic. Yeah, off to our next stop. Famous for the blueberry biscuits. We got the two piece meal. So good. Every time. <laughs> you eat it with the honey, it's like the proper way to eat it. Oh, it's a lot. It's so soft and juicy, like all the way through. And then, of course, hot sauce. It's good, it's spicy. 175 additional, but it's worth it. Check this out. Like, where can you get blueberry biscuits? Hardly anywhere. Mm -hmm. mm. This is a thousand out of ten. Yeah. This is so good. Chicken is definitely not guilt free at all, but it's this is for sure like a treat yourself type of chicken. Really might be our favorite because it's so good. It's like always so good. Thousand out of ten. Ten thousand out of ten. <laughs> Our next location, which is Gus's world famous. <laughs> and they say, if you haven't had Gus's, you haven't had fried chicken. So Gus's is really good. Look at that. 
Yeah, with multiple locations. Yes. We ended up going to Crenshaw and Pico right there, as you yep. saw. And and it is Super Bowl weekend this weekend. There's a lot of traffic and it's also 90 degrees. So we're just like, let's just bring it home. Yeah, let's do the taste test. Mmm, this is so good. It's not like super, super crispy. So it's like on the medium side of the crispiness, but on the inside it's so juicy, like really, really juicy. And the spice on the outside of it and the seasoning is masterful. It's like so good. <laughs> so if you don't like ultra, ultra crispy, because I feel like Honey's kettle, Honey's is, kettle is like on the maximum crispy. The extreme side. Yeah. So this is right in the middle. Excellent though. It's like you want another bite instantly. Mm -hmm. Definitely the highlight is the amazing seasoning in this. What is there not to love about this? If you don't love Gus's, I don't know, man. Can't trust you. <laughs> if you don't like any of these fried chickens that we have told you about, I don't know, man. It is worth driving out to. No matter where you're at, there should be one not too far from here in LA. If you're in Long Beach or if you're in LA downtown or Burbank, mm -hmm. you've got a couple of different options. I give it a nine and a half out of 10. I give it 10 because we drove 30 minutes back home. It's still good. Yeah, it's still I give good. it a 10 it's, now. Still, it's still warm. The good side about it being 90 degrees today, it kept our chicken warm. Yeah. All right, next stop. We have the Tokyo Fried Chicken. A little character. So we got fried chicken, we have chicken rice, we have Japanese sides, and in this bag we have chicken skin. They're really, really good here, the chicken skin. So Tokyo Fried Chicken is located in Monterey Park. It's a very popular Japanese fried chicken style. Their chicken is really, really good, which is why we are recommending this place. They marinate their chicken in garlic and ginger for hours before they fry it and you can choose between a, like a spicy ponzu sauce or like a spicy japanese mayo with your fried chicken and it's literally <coughs> we definitely think that is worth driving out to wherever you're at because yep. it's just that good especially if you like the crispiness of the fried chicken they get that right every single time and it's like juicy and even though we're only really rating this on the fried chicken itself everything about it is good the sides the drinks yep everything they also give you a side of chicken flavored rice and if you've never had chicken flavored rice like hainan chicken style do yourself a favor and get some we are gonna start our dinner it's time to eat. I got the two piece with the drumsticks and Peter got a drumstick and a tender. That's a huge tender, dude. Yeah. Do you see the specks of flavor? Like, come on, dude. Like, this is freaking amazing. Initially, when you bite into it, you really taste that the meat is not just like ordinary chicken. You can taste the marinade. The way that they took care of this chicken before they fried it. Yeah, the spices on the outside and like the seasoning, it's unlike any other. Like I can't even describe mm -hmm. what it's similar to because yeah. it's that unique. The spicy ponzu sauce is spicy. And then we also chose the spicy Japanese mayo. This is hard to dip. Mmm. And I'm gonna try Basically, the chicken chicharron. So good! We love Tokyo fried chicken because it's just not your ordinary fried chicken and it has really delicious flavors. But there is a warning, it is a little bit pricier. This is on the pricier side, but the quality makes up for it. We do think that is justified for it. Yes. For sure. Yes. Check it out if you're in the Monterey Park area. Yeah, 10 out of 10? Yes, definitely. 10 out of 10. So that is four places around LA where they're really famous for fried chicken. Yeah, these are now some of our favorite places and ones that we definitely want to go back to. My favorite overall is gotta be Honey's Kettle. 
it's so bomb. If we were only gonna recommend one, that's the one right there. I feel like the most people would enjoy that one. Yep. Especially if you really like crispy, 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 and crunchy fried chicken. That's yes. the one. And blueberry biscuits. Yes. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check back in every Sunday for new videos. And please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.